Nanji village in Budo district on the slopes of Mountain in eastern Uganda is home to a father of five who is trying to make a living out of small-scale dairy farming. He is milking cows which can barely give him five liters to sell. Like many small-scale dairy farmers in Budo, Yefosa has many challenges. We are walking about five kilometers, six kilometers, three kilometers where walking this pasture. Yefusa was selected with four other dairy farmers to participate in a special program of by a more progressive dairy farmer who is using improved live farming practices to get better milk production. For five days, the mentees lived with their mentor, Jilom Bies, the proprietor of Dutch farm in Bali district, and participated in all activities at the farm, including feeding the cows, cowshed cleaning and milking, from which they learned better methods of livestock management. Of particular interest to the dairy farmers from Bududa was the process of pasture using the Tumbukiza methodology, which makes it possible to have high pasture yields from small acreage to feed their animals even in the dry season. The things I have seen here, uh, having enough of pasture for the animals, such that they, could, they cannot break the milk down. Mm -hmm. Then uh, water source, the animals have to be near water. Mm -hmm. Then water supply, then animal feeds. Our animals are particularly depending on natural vegetation, then some small to those who have managed to grow elephant grass. Mm -hmm. So supplements are used, that is why we are getting low yields. This group of dairy farmers are dairy farmers who have benefited from the first phase of the dairy farmer to process, which is an innovative training methodology supported by the dairy farmer, farmer mentoring that we have started in SNV was mainly a result of us realizing that farmers were not adopting new technologies as much as we wanted them to. We would go out and train them on methods for increasing uh, their feed availability so that they can have more milk, train them on how to have, have better quality milk through improved milk handling, but eventually we would have adoption rates of 20 to 40 percent. So we thought that this training was not effective. So we thought of another way of actually having them effectively adopt technologies that were passed on. And we thought that if they saw another farmer similar to them doing something and they did it with them a number of times, they would be able to go home on their own farms and practice it better. And that is why we introduced the dairy farmer to farmer mentoring that we are carrying out. Dairy farmer to farmer mentoring implemented in eastern and western Uganda. Farmers in Churuhura and are among those who have benefited from entering. We have been drumming, we have been injecting, we have been measuring animals, we have been taking temperatures. They have learned a lot of things, I hope so. From here, we have different types of pastures and regimes. We have been giving them seeds. They are going back in their homes and planting. Richard Kamomo, a dairy farmer in Karweni in Chegegwa district, was among five farmers who is with their mentor, Mr. Mushabe, from whom he learned, among other things, the benefits of milking and improving the pastures for his animals. SNV works in partnership with African Institute for Strategic Animal Resource Services, AFRISA, based at Makerere University, to assess how the mentored farmers adopt new technologies and knowledge acquired during mentorship to dairy productivity. We are studying what are farmers' attitudes, which technologies have they adopted after training that we are not married before they were mentored. Five months after mentoring, many of the mentees are making changes in the management of their animals. 
Yefusaki Maswa is moving his two cows from this cramped and muddy structure to a new market he's constructing at a new site with more space. It has been constructed and demarcated uh, in compartments. We have a resting place here. This is a feeding, pl feeding place. Then another animal can rest from the other side. Then uh, there is a feeding box there where an animal can be fed when you, while it is being milked. To improve on my pasture, we have implemented Tombokiza. In western and southwestern Uganda, talented dairy farmers are also improving pastures and changing the breeds of their cows to increase milk yields. Nkanyi nkamarta makumi abiri, nkanyi nkamarta nshanju. Nyonjiri hama temu inja hapu enti yenezi zi nyonjiri mu. Nyankwede kurose zina abe nyini hatu kunyonjiri mu enti ina, na yonjira hurta makumi atano zi nyonjiri mu. Nathan Kansime has a man is constructed a crush on his farm. Naigiramu echigambo echoku kora crush. When I was a kid, I was a kid. 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 Elias Safutumwi is aggressively clearing bushes. He has learned that some of the growth here is affecting the eyes of his cow. Some of them getting blinded. Bush clearing and paddocking are also helping to improve his power. Itakali anjeri na anjeri ngantar kumanguri no di nijiri akwasa kunyamba. Mwaka kuna jiru mshomo, ashanga herumu chukunyamba. Choko vanza, ukurisa, ukurisa za mumu, ukushare fshenji. Ukoma paddocks. Ukurisa zento mbishenji, kurengu wazila wagawire fshenji za ajiru vinyati. Eche nkawa nda kuchimani. We look forward to a much better performing dairy farmer group in all these areas where we are working and the mentoring program.